Hi, this is Mike. Today is August the 28th, 2018, and for at least a decade, I have been saying that I'd love to go to Burning Man if I ever had the opportunity to go with a group. And um, the opportunity presented itself to me on a silver platter. So I am currently in Truckee, California, and our group of eight will be leaving, hopefully within the hour, for the final push up to Black Rock City. And the last two days we spent sightseeing in the Lake Tahoe area and getting ready. And now we're just doing the final details packing and then we will hit the road. Um, one concern is that two days ago they, there was a, a big windstorm and they quit letting people in. So it, I heard there was a 10 hour wait just to get into um, Black Rock City. But we are going in late to avoid that um, long line to get in. So hopefully it will be a piece of cake. And yeah, I'm excited. More later. Okay, it's about an hour later. And I am in line to get into Burning Man. And I really like the way they've organized this. You don't creep up gradually, but they pulls people forward in groups so you can get out of your car and walk around a little bit. So, hey, yeah, more later. This is a view from something that was obviously made from the body of an airplane. And they put atop this observation deck. And it's made to look like the flying spaghetti monster. So this is what Burning Man looks like at 10 till 8 in the morning.
This is it. This is the man of Burning Man 2018. Tomorrow night, they're going to burn this whole thing down, including the structure. And it's really a great deal of work had to go into building this thing. You can see how big it is, judging by the people going up and down the steps. And you can also go inside of it and they show videos on the wall at nighttime. Really remarkable. Um, at the effort to build this thing and basically to just make a bonfire out of it. So that's about all I can say about it. This very large wooden structure is called the temple, if I'm not mistaken. I was incorrectly calling it the volcano until today. And inside are hundreds of tributes to people who have died that were placed by people who are at Burning Man right now. It's really very quiet inside. A lot of people crying and yeah, just hundreds of tributes of pictures and writings and poems of loved ones of uh, the burners here. And it's it's really stands out compared to the rest of Burning Man because it's really quiet and um, respectful in there as compared to everything else, which is really very noisy and busy. So if you come to Burning Man, I think this is a, a must visit.
85 and we're obviously having a dust storm here. So this is the RV six others in my group are staying in. It's a van that they came in. This is our table. And there's my tent. Got extremely dusty in there last night. Somehow. And there's my unicycle, which has been getting much use. Woo! My black bike. There's the good old UCSB car. And yeah, I just wanted to document this dust storm here.